This apparently simple toy is actually a very hard puzzle to solve in real life if you have ever handled one. It can take you hours, days, or even months to solve a Rubik's Cube. There are some patterns to solve these, and by following them, you can solve the cube. Through the process of solving it, you will find that you are concentrating and memorizing certain patterns. The ability to solve a Rubik's Cube can improve your memory if you are using one of the standard methods. This is because you are memorizing a sequential pattern of movements using hand-eye coordination. This utilizes different parts of the brain. This constant process of memorizing will eventually help you to solve the Rubik's Cube. And by solving the cube, you will eventually boost your memory skills. Does being able to solve a Rubik's Cube make you smarter? You cannot become a genius or an extraordinary person just by solving a Rubik's Cube. Being smart depends on other aspects as well, but solving the cube definitely enhances your mental strength, concentration, and focusing abilities. It does look like only smart people can solve this tricky toy, but what most people are doing is memorizing patterns, or you might say equations, to solve an algebraic problem. Once you have memorized the sequence of moves required to solve a Rubik's Cube, you will be able to solve it like a speed cuber, which is generally within a few seconds, and at the most, less than a few minutes. So, the answer is no, it doesn't make you smarter per se. How do speed cubers solve it so quickly? Speed cubing takes a lot of practice over a few years as you are trying to develop a reflex skill within your brain. What you are trying to achieve as a speed cuber is the ability to instantly see a pattern on the cube and instantly tell your hands and brain to react in a certain way. Much like avoiding a punch in your face if you were skilled in martial arts. With constant practicing, you will notice an improvement in your short-term memory. You will have to constantly change the patterns you are using as you progress to solve the cube and remember the previous ones to get completed colored sides. Thus, you are making your brain work more rapidly as you progressively get faster. How solving a Rubik's Cube could help your reflexes and hand-eye coordination Solving Rubik's Cubes requires good hand-eye coordination. If you want to beat the time taken previously, then you need to be faster. At some point, you will have to move three cubes per second based on the colors. This will make your vision sharper and your reflexes stronger. It happens because in speed solving, you are watching the colors you move very fast and changing patterns based on the colors you moved before. Your hands will be moving in response to the colors you are seeing on the cube. How cubing can improve your focus. Rubik's cubes are extremely helpful in making you focus on the task at hand. The entire process of solving a Rubik's cube depends on focus. Even if you are taking help from a guidebook or from YouTube to solve it, you will have to remember the patterns. Solving the patterns on your own will take a lot of concentration and memorization. With numerous successful and unsuccessful attempts, you will start to find the exact algorithm with time, and it will eventually become second nature. Though this will only happen if you focus on what you are doing. For example, if you are a driver, athlete, or gymnast, Staying focused is of utmost importance. Thus, a calm and focused approach is desired when solving the cube. It is addictive for many, but this addiction will not harm you in the long run like the instant dopamine hits that you get from playing video games. Can the average person solve the Rubik's Cube? Yes, there is no rocket science behind solving a Rubik's Cube. Check out this video in the description on how to solve it. Any ordinary person can do it with a little attention and determination. We generally fail to solve it because we stop attempting after a few failures. If you ask a person who has solved the Rubik's Cube, they will tell you how many attempts it took before getting to success. Thus, an average person with average mental capacity can also solve the cube. Of course, the capacity of your brain will decide how many hours or days you will take to solve it. There are several methods to solve the Rubik's Cube all using different types of patterns. The most common pattern is the one discovered by the creator, Emo Rubik. Can solving Rubik's Cubes help you memorize patterns? There are multiple methods you can apply to successfully solve a Rubik's Cube. And if you try to find out a successful pattern on your own, then it may take you a number of months or years to solve. With continuous struggles to remember patterns, you will find one day that it is not that difficult if using one of the well-known methods. This ability to memorize patterns will help you in other activities in your day-to-day -day life. You can easily remember directions or addresses of new places. Remembering a bunch of telephone numbers will seem like nothing for you. 
Thus, a little complex cube can help you solve the complexities in your life. Does being able to solve a Rubik's Cube increase your IQ? Solving a Rubik's Cube can help you to increase your visual spatial IQ, but this will only happen when you think about your moves on your own, not when you are first learning to solve the cube. Though solving the cube does not directly increase your reasoning or IQ level. Does being able to solve a Rubik's Cube improve your problem-solving skills? Solving Rubik's Cubes will make you more patient and tolerant. This approach is needed in any sort of problem-solving situation. You cannot solve an equation or any complex problem if you are impulsive or if your mind is not focused. Rubik's Cubes will make you calm and act with poise, as any wrong move means to start afresh. Rubik's Cubes are equally important for children as well as adults. If your child is impatient and makes trivial mistakes in solving math problems, then you might consider giving them a cube to play with. This engaging activity will help them to be focused, active, and productive. Even if you feel stressed and unproductive, then figuring out the patterns will give you some extra time to think. So, keep a cube on your office desk. Try and let your children solve it by themselves, and suggest the benefits of it to your family and friends. It has the capability to addict you more than your smartphone can, but this addiction will not harm your eyes and health. Unlike smartphones, it will make you interact and showcase your talent in the real world. This puzzle game will reduce your boredom and give you the taste of victory anytime. There is no age for learning and improving yourself, and to learn the skills while playing a puzzle is probably the easiest way of improvement. So hurry up and get a Rubik's Cube and start today! Please like and subscribe. Check out our blog, BrainHackerExpert.com. Thank you so much for watching.